And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Lux. Gonna be our last donation deck of the day. This one's going over to Targon. We've played Mage Seeker Lux decks before with Lux and like Piltover and Zon back in the day, but this time we're going over to uh, the new region, newest region at Targon. So the Mage Seeker part is um, playing these Mage Seeker spells that care about you cost casting a spell that costs six plus mana. So we have like Mage Seeker Persuader and Mage Seeker Inciter that care about those. And the main card that we're going to be playing all the time is Remembrance. But what Targon has is Targon has Sunburst, which is another great spell, a very good removal spell that costs exactly six mana. So that's um, perfect there for the Mage Seekers. Of course, Lux also wants you to play six plus cost of spells, but that can be split into multiple spells. But once you do, then you level up and you start creating a final spark. So six is the magic number for Lux also. Besides that, Targon also uh, just offers some good invoke cards with like your Solari Priestess, your Star Shaping. Star Shaping, um, you know, play, heals your Nexus or, or an ally, gets a good a Celestial card, but then also costs five mana worth of spells for Lux. Um, but you also just have good spells with good card draw in uh, Targon. So Targon works very well with Lux. Top end is pretty awesome. We got an Unyielding Spirit for Lux. We got a Judgment that, that um, people may not see coming, but that also is for the aggro decks, like your your um, Draven Jinx deck that's going wide and being aggressive like that. You're gonna try to set up a Judgment to wipe the board. Um, that's what that's for. And uh, everything like that. All right, so let's give us a try. Mage Seeker Lux, here we go. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked Hopefully finish three and two or better and uh, finish the day with all winning records. That'd be really nice. Okay, Shen Fiora. I can see us being okay here with the amount of spells that we have and everything. Um, yeah, I, like, I, I really like Hush against Barrier. I think Hush works very well. Let's mulligan the Eclipse Dragon, but I'm gonna keep both of these Remembrances. I like our hand. Yeah, going for the 5-0 dream. You know, they try to, like, they play Fiora, they try to repost, we can hush. Of course, they could have two repost. It's not next turn. George! Yeah, Tarek's good with Lux. Yeah, those two work very well together. So I go. I wanted the pill casket. He did. <laughs> right out. I wanted that to be able to have the nightfall enabled. You can't outrun justice. Could see going like this, honestly. No. Take that trade. I'll take my my two mana Mage Seeker and my two mana Pale Cascade for their five mana Dragon and two mana single combat. It's a good trade. Let the light guide you. It must be done. Do your worst. Still counts as striking the barrier. Take. 
So the I need to worry about Concerted Strike with Unyielding Spirit. I have Sharp Sight. So if they have Concerted Strike and Single Combat, that doesn't that doesn't kill this. Oh yeah, deny. Right, I forgot about deny. Okay, they just deny this. That's really bad. Perfect. That's what I was hoping they would do. A gift from the river folk. Better, brighter than before. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, leveled up Lux. Yeah, Unyielding Spirit Lux is going to be difficult to beat. Now, we, we are at 0 out of 6 because the Sharp Side happened before the Unyielding Spirit, so we did a waste a bunch of, you know, just a little bit of mana. The important thing there is, like, if it was 2 out of 6, then it would be easier to get more final sparks. That's not the case. In shining sunlight. I sense an imbalance. Our wills align. You cannot sway me. My father's blade. So I can let that die, and then Remembrance for 5, but again, that doesn't level up Lux. I'm gonna kill this Shannon. Sounds really good. I wouldn't mind a cheap spell. Hmm. This is tough, Written in Stars of the Traveler. Written in Stars just draws a Lux, which I guess we don't really need a Lux. Bask in her radiant blessing. I am the traveler. I am one with the land. For justice and all things bright. Follow my lead. Back heretic. This is my choice. Yeah, force, forcing them to use, like, barriers and stuff like that. Yeah, GG's. Not gonna be able to fight Unyielding Spirit. Unless they had their own Unyielding Spirit. Alright, Brom. Why did I say Brom? <laughs> I was thinking, like, Brom Kench. Sorry. Tom, Tom Kench, Soraka. We've... We've definitely been struggling against Tom Kench today. Tom Kench has given us a couple of our losses today. We're gonna keep Lux, because, you know, it's Lux, but... Yay, Remembrance. Awesome. Solari Priestess, that can find removal for uh, Tom Kench. Yeah, we, we have beaten this deck today, but we've also lost to it a couple of times. We are... One and two against this deck today, I think. Maybe two and two. Maybe two and two. All right, hit him for five or pass and not let them play anything. Probably hit him for five. Cool. Get the best of both worlds. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that card not so good against Thomas. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I'm sure 
Yep, best possible invoke. So I'm gonna play this first because, of course, we want our nightfall car our nightfall things turned on with the pale cascades. My cause is righteous. You can't outrun justice. Alright, we got a second one. I wish we had two more mana, I wish we could go with the third one. Cool. That's pretty big. One Tom Kench down. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. That was pretty big. we got. Okay, that doesn't matter. They're using a ton of cards. A ton of cards, I tell you. I'm just gonna let this all happen. There's nothing I particularly want to do. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. I'll protect you. Table for one, if you oblige. Hey, is that dinner on you then? Oh yeah, I could have. Oh yeah, I could have hushed there and let that happen. My bad. Sorry, I was a little distracted. I forgot about that. Yeah, I should have done that. My bad. My bad. We'll be just fine, though. <clears throat> We're gonna be just fine. Appetizers of village. Saved it for the second one. And now we get a final spark. See? The planning was perfect. Had it the whole time. And we get to get to get that extra final spark. Did we win? And we win. Okay, Vladimir Misfortune. I like this deck. Vladimir's Fortune. We played this yesterday. It was pretty awesome. Mulligan. Where's our remembrance? We've done a really good job of having turn three remembrance in these games. Let's let's have another turn three remembrance, please. Yay. And then turn four. We can either go six five or we could go Mage Seeker Persuader plus uh, Pill Cascade. Probably going the latter. Probably gonna be going these two on turn four, because we're gonna have the attack token on turn four. Ooh, or single combat. So yeah, we're probably gonna just double spell with those things. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I know, right? We do rank up better on Thursdays than Sundays. That's the same as like last week too. We had a really good rank up Thursday. 
Yesterday we had a good day too. All three decks winning records yesterday, including a 5-0 yesterday. They don't break, they burn. The few for the many. You started without me. Alright, let's find some Nexus healing. Mages can't hide from me. Nexus healing anybody? For silver I talk, for gold I peace. My cause, you have no alibi. Is that all? Uh, Man, their hand was awesome. Yeah, their hand was awesome. If we're lucky, this could be Radiant Guardian. So this would be a 6-5, but then I, if I play this to block, I, I think I kind of have to Concerted Strike. It does mean that uh, we're not going to really be able to Remembrance very well. Screeching Dragon's pretty furious. I will keep us safe. Strike down the corrupted. Yeah, Drewski. Anytime we want to see any of the, the decks. There you go, Cordek with the link there. Exclamation point decks. That gets you all of them right there. Let's have Just makes sense to, to fight with the Screeching Dragon because it'll just stay at two health. Keep up, keep up. So they got transfusion. That's what they just drew there. Could be a might, but most likely transfusion. Fortune favors the no. The ocean is no place for the weak. No, 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 no. Change that. Got a sub. Gucci, getting the sub. Thank you, Drew. Drewski, gift it, gifting it to. Uh, <laughs> Drewski, gifting to Gucci. Thank you so much, Santa Drewski. Give out some subs today. I'll be damned. Let's do this. Thank you very much. That gets us to sub number nine. Okay, we're going to. Going to play this other screeching dragon. Let's get him, crew. Moved out magic. Cool, letting it die so I get to remembrance. And hopefully grab Radiant Guardian. With remembrance. Yay! All right, GGS. Didn't get to do Radiant Guardian uh, Judgment, which would have been cool, but we will take that win. 
All right, playing against uh, another dragon deck. Well, we're not really a, a dragon deck, I guess, but. So they have Ionia. Is Ionia for like, go get it? Deny? That kind of stuff? Oh no, Pill Cascade's fine. Concerted Strike's fine. Oh, these two cards are fine. I'm definitely keeping these two. Like that Pill Cascade, I should probably keep that Pill Cascade. Nope. Love the Unyielding Spirit. Just because I love that card. I guess it, I guess it's not necessarily that great to obliterate removal with Targon, and of course Ionia can have Deny and other things for it. And they can have Hush. Yeah, so I guess this isn't a matchup for it, so maybe, maybe I shouldn't love that card. But I do. Justice. Attack. Your attack is obvious. I really like that pill cascade draw with what we got going on here. Okay, I'll just take that. So we both have six cards in hand. They have three extra mana, but I have these two things in play. Ooh. Alright, this is working start getting sketchy. Mountain Scryer's awesome. Targon's history is in each stone and star. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. So they go Diana, I'm gonna hush the Diana. By the moon's crescent flame. Not have it be quick attack challenger. Okay. Challenge, challenge. No mercy for heretics. Yeah, so they they've kind of been playing like they have Pale Cascade. So, um, especially with that being Diana's champion spell, so certainly expecting Pale Cascade. So here they don't get to draw the card. So I could let that happen. I could do my own pill cascade, but then we don't get to draw. I could star shaping and heal my Vanguard Cavalry too. But then it basically would go to two health, so. Um, or just let it all happen and then just play my own Screeching Dragon. Which I think I'm good for that. Oh, that makes that annoying, because now I don't want to play the Screeching Dragon. I guess I'd have Sunburst that thing? I guess so. So I guess I just attack immediately. Man, so many star shapings. So little time. So they can they can obliterate. So mortal fire is not going to be as good here. Let's just take the living legends. Still wasting all this mana. I do not want to waste mana. Gotta be chilling with like a Rillian Soul. 
That's gotta be one of the cards. And now I don't really know what I'm doing about Aurelian Soul. Bask in her radiant blessing. Not yet, at least. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think Sunburst does a ton against Aurelian Soul. So I want to, like, Sunburst and... Yeah, so what do I do against Aurelian Soul this turn? I can't pop the Spell Shield. Like, that's the problem. I would be able to resolve Unyielding Spirit on, like, my Screeching Dragon. I wish I had Lux. This gives me four cards right now. I'll just take the four cards, see what we get. Oh, I hate how that uses the, the spell. I forget. I always forget that uses the spell mana. So it takes away mana. Doesn't just cause zero. Maybe they can't break the spell shield and obliterate it. Maybe. Good news, no Aurelian Soul. Good news. Still no Aurelian Soul, please? No. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> So five, six, seven, eight, nine. How are we getting to ten? So they're just gonna have another hush. I mean, it, I just can't really play around hush. You know, like I, I just can't. And you get the damage on, you know, you need to try to get the damage on the Aurelian Solids. That's how it is. My, how they stare. My faith protects me. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna try to sunburst Aurelian Soul. This is such a difficult champion to ever beat with playing a, a deck like this, which, which kind of makes it seem that like it, like maybe it's worth it just to be playing one Aurelian Soul in these kind of decks, because if you do play against Aurelian Soul Mirrors, you, you gotta have Aurelian Soul, because there's nothing that really beats it besides that. They've played one deny so far, two hush. Something's wrong. Ooh. I didn't expect that to work. Let's see if we can find the that nine mana elusive celestial again. Immortal fire. So I'm gonna try. Oh, never mind. It's only three. Never mind. I don't know why I thought I had more. It's only eleven. Yes, yeah, so with pale cascade, we can do eleven damage. Shining sunlight. 
Yeah, that's true. I'm sure they have a bunch of healing and stuff, too. That's true. So maybe we just hit him once and... Yeah, they just, they just like sitting back and not playing anything. Lux, where are you? Solari Priestess, where are you? Daylight warms the heart Solari Priestess? Denounce magic! The mountain speaks to those who listen. So they have an Ionia card on top. I know this could have just gotten the Obliterate card. Uh, it looks like it did. I just can't. I can't stop that. Looks like they're a better. They're a better invoke deck than we are. Do these cards do anything. Yeah, I mean, none of these cards do anything. Justice. I'm well. the divine power I don't... Of the sun. So that's the thing, like, our... Our deck seems to be pretty well positioned against other stuff, but, like, this matchup, I, I don't know if we would win very much ever. It seems like if he, they play a really in soul, the game's over. Oh, magic is dangerous. Um, so too are mages. So maybe, like, if if you play this deck a lot and if you want to have a chance in this matchup, maybe we've got to have an Aurelian Soul or two in our deck to compete. That's what it feels like. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We did have all three of our star shapings as we did get three invokes, but they handled them very easily. Robin created that. Sunlight burns in our weapons. Chosen of the moon. Chosen of cowards and blasphemers. Light and fire are the origins of life. Alright, three and one. Let's play against aggro again. No! The only matchup we can't beat. Well, that's too bad. So none of these cards... I mean, Eclipse Dragon's good on turn... You know, turn 8, turn 9, turn 10. Uh, Eclipse Dragon's good then. But... It's like we can mulligan these things, but I just don't really know what I'm looking for. Yes. Solari Priestess. That one's good. Bless the faithful and Usually we want turn three Remembrance. Which I guess that would be just fine again. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. Thanks. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thanks for the cheers. Unyielding light. Punish transgressions. Falling Comet can stop an Aurelian Soul, but we are at 12. I guess Golden Sister is still a few turns away anyway. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Contain the arcane. Okay, we've got a Mage Seeker. There's a Remembrance. Daylight everlasting. Solari control all the Hawam touches. Yeah. So Leona will be leveled up. They've played four Daybreak cards. Our 
strength is forever at its zenith. Blessed daylight surrounds you. So that they're gonna pale cascade, then I pale cascade. Believe or burn. They have the extra two mana though, so if they hush, they can keep it alive. But just that one health, so I can try to single combat Solari Priestess fight. <clears throat> we could try that. I know these paths well. So what am I going to play before Eclipse Dragon? Strike down the corrupted. You cannot sway me. I would like to play Eclipse Dragon this turn, but I don't know if it makes sense to play any of these. Like the only one that makes sense to play is Star Shaping, but I can't play Star Shaping and Eclipse Dragon. Oh, you missed that. You missed that on Gucci. Yeah, we're playing against the same matchup again. This is just. This is going to be a really difficult matchup to win. They just do. You know, like, they're just much more focused on Invoke, and they're playing a really in Soul. So the, the Invoke cards. Beat the Mage Seeker cards in the head-to-head -head battle. The enemies of day will fall. Man, I should have just passed when they passed. Devotion to battle. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. I should have passed when they did. Dragon's pretty cool. Try to heal our Nexus for six. Cool. Alright, good supernova. We're able to get rid of the Aurelian Soul, but of course they have all those cards still in hand. Oh, that card's great. Um, man, this Eclipse Dragon is difficult to turn on. Escape punishment. Find your own light within the darkness. Your light is a lie. Scorching light! Face your heretic! Back, heretic. I think it's pretty likely that they have a Pill Cascade. But... 
I think it's my best play is to save the Screeching Dragon over... Yeah, I can try to save one of these. I think that's my best play is block the Screeching Dragon and try to save it. Okay, Vile Fees. Because, like, they're definitely protected. You know, they're definitely, definitely keeping two mana off for something, right? Like, they weren't just casting that gem. Shield Bearer is good because then we could get to Shield Bearer, then um, Eclipse Dragon. It is time. That makes sense to do this. Bask in her radiant blessing. Okay, I like the charger. That gives me something cheap to play. Fused Firebrand is one of the worst dragons, unfortunately. draw. My, I'm out of hushes. I may have to just obliterate that thing. Don't really want to. I guess I have to obliterate that thing, don't I? Yeah, I do. I'm just created by Robin. It's so big. Punish transgressions. Down to seven. We have the guiding touch still, but let's cast this remembrance. See what we get. Okay. That card is tough. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Can finally find a Lux. Seeing both last game and this game, we've had zero Lux. This will finally enable us to find a champion. So I think it's usually a 6 5. Yeah, we're out of spells for now. I mean, it's kind of either like take a Lux or take an Obliterate. Yuck. But you never know, Guiding Touch could help out. Surprise at the timing of that Pell Cascade. Interesting. They knew I just drew a cheaper, bigger Lux, and they still obliterated that card. Like, the Lux isn't a surprise. It's not like I, I play, like, something else in my hand and then they get surprised about the Lux. Hmm. Hello, Rune Terra. Let's rock. Let's not. Up their day. 
It's the thing, like, we can fight through a whole bunch of stuff, but... My, my opponent just plays Aurelian Soul, and it just... Game kind of ends. Now they'll pay attention. We were able to take down one Aurelian Soul earlier. We had the 9-mana Obliterate 2 card. Admire me. Do your worst. Hey, Moon. C7 Moon, hello. That's a rough, rough matchup. It's just an opportunity to shine even brighter. GG's. Unfortunately, we played against that twice. Um, yeah, that's that's a really... Really rough matchup, but I liked I liked. I mean, the, so that's the thing is like those those two games, you know, like our, our first three games took like twenty minutes, and those two games like each also took twenty minutes, and so it seemed like you know so we spent like forty minutes losing and twenty minutes winning, even though we went three and two. <laughs> so, um, so it kind of leaves you with the the bad taste in your mouth with like the forty minutes straight of losing, but. I think that this deck had a lot of good stuff with it. I think that we can't forget about those three games that we had beforehand that our deck looked really good against the other parts of the metagame. Um, some decks that maybe the other invoke deck, like maybe the other invoke deck is going to be too slow against some more, some of the other aggro decks and other stuff. And ours looked uh, pretty good against that kind of stuff. Turn three remembrance was just fantastic in other matchups. And, and it was, you know, it looked great there. Um, yeah, but if basically this kind of deck can't beat Aurelian Soul unless you play the the only thing like you can you have to play your own Aurelian Soul to beat Aurelian Soul. So it's either it's either you're you just accept losing that matchup all the time and be better against other stuff. But the thing is, is like Aurelian Soul is not going to be not going to help you out against a lot of the other decks that like other decks that you'd struggle against. To fit a really soul in here, I mean, our worst card is the Mage Seeker Inciter. That is the worst card in the deck. Also, three Pale Cascade and two Sharp Sight. That felt very heavy on the pump spells. I think that that could probably be like three or four total, maybe not five of both of them. Um, you know, it felt it felt like like there's lots of, like we didn't have very many units, but lots and lots of pump, pump spells. Um, yeah, Bast Bastion would help. That's another option. Yeah, Bastion would help for, to try to stop Obliterate. But those are kind of like the cards like that maybe you could trim on some of like the Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, Sharp Sight. Like maybe you can free up a couple of slots there. I was very pleasantly surprised by Hush. Hush looked a lot better than I expected it, especially for three of. I thought that three copies of Hush, like maybe, you know, we'd have like one good Hush and we'd maybe have a Hush or two stuck in hand. But actually... It, it played very well, and I was I was very impressed with with having uh, the the hushes. I was always happy to see hush, so I liked that. That was something that I was surprised how how good it did. All right, so that's Mage Seeker Lux. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.